This list of dating advice for short Asian guys is going viral right now. Let's review it and see whether we agree or disagree. Yeah, let's take a look at this post. It is titled Dating 101 Tips for Asian Brothers. As an average looking 5'5 Asian guy who has always dated since I was a kid, here are some dating 101 tips for my Asian brothers. I read what people post on here and it's quite saddening. It may seem like many of y'all do not have a father to teach you or a female in your life to talk to you. It's kind of pathetic. This may sound harsh, and I apologize. Yeah, well, guys, please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pot Boys, Smala Sauce. You can buy it right now at smalasauce.com. I guess, David, uh, there's a lot of good points here, but we're going to go through it. And, and you know, we know I'm not the shortest Asian guy, but I'm not tall, but I know a lot of short Asian guys. Yes, yes, yes. And I think that it hits completely differently coming from a guy who is 5'5 five, five and successful. Right. Because right. you need to have a relatable baseline. If a guy's like a 6'3", chiseled jawline, model how much can he really teach you right right exactly take advice from people who are similar to you anyways let's see if we can add anything on to this advice that may be helpful david what's number one number one start learning how to talk to people now even kids should be having a little girlfriend by he means the same age by the way learn to communicate with people if you're awkward talk to female friends become friends with that big girl be friends with that lesbian girl be friends with that weird girl that nobody talks to literally it is about getting social repetition and if you're awkward talk to everybody talk to people in the elevator talk to the cashier talk to the retail employee at Storm X Y Z. Right, David. This seems like basic advice for anybody, but I guess why do you think short Asian guys might need to hear this? I do think this uh, Asian culture in general, particularly East Asian culture, is more introverted. Um, you may feel like there is no necessity to have small talk conversations with like retail workers, mm. a cashier at a grocery store. Right, right. Um, you may not feel comfortable in that interaction, but like Andrew, I know you always say this. Take advantage of situations where the person is required to talk to you. Yeah, guys, listen, I think short guys, all the successful short guys I know who do date, you know, have had decent, pretty good dating lives. They're all good communicators, all good talkers. Learn how to talk to people. Trust me, you are worse at talking to different people than you think. And that goes yeah. for all Asian guys, not just short Asian guys. And I think that the, the, the volume of repetitions you ultimately need to become a smooth, socially lubricated person is 2x to 3x what you think that baseline is. Andrew, I know for you, you practice Chinese with cab, uh, Uber drivers all the time. And guess what? They have to talk to you. Yeah, I'm paying them money. Uh, point number two, never talk about breaking the Asian stereotypes on your messages in dating apps. It shows insecurity. Nobody wants to date an insecure person. I always see people post their dating app messages and there's always saying something dumb like, yeah, I'm going to prove you wrong about the stereotype. That's not confidence. That's not funny. That's insecurity. Now, I guess, yeah, I guess a lot of Asian dudes I could see bring this up almost more for themselves rather than the girl or they they think hey if i tell them i'm gonna break the stereotype maybe i'll get that interview i'll get that date and that's all i need right is could it be helpful in some way or overall just don't do it uh i could see it maybe one out of every 20 times you attempt to do it like like i said these general rules they're eight out of ten rules maybe one out of ten times it works but the other nine out of ten repetitions you run this plan of like yeah i'm gonna show you what they say about asian guys down there is not no. true it's gonna go downside right. so probability wise are you gonna go with the one out of ten times chance it goes upside or are you gonna go with the nine out of ten times chance it goes downside well, would you just say that that in general that phrase or putting that out there kind of is the opposite of big dong energy. You know, like when people say have big dong energy, that doesn't mean go out and tell everybody of your insecurities and try to face them head on. Yes, it's yes, almost yes. like just just act like you. Got I would one. say for let's just say nineteen out of twenty women, they would rather uh, discover things or be shown things than told things. Now, now, David, what if this short Asian dude does is packing some? extra large meat then he gotta tell everybody <laughs> he got he's, the arby's triple yeah he's X. just trying oh, to tell God. everybody like yo i'm not like the other short guys yo uh it could work like i said it depends on if he doesn't care about like making some people think he's a, a bad or yeah right, a, a creep. creep yeah it could be creepy but might work on uh certain women yeah 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 point number three I don't know why, but some Asian men on here love taking a picture with their one white male friend on social dating apps. The F. It's cool to show a group picture to indicate you're sociable, but do not let your light be overshadowed when it's already a known fact that white men are preferred. 
All right, so All the way right, so he worded it, this is funny. It, it, like Some people are not going to like the way he worded it, but I will say this. When guys post a photo with their tall white roommate from college or whatever, maybe you're in a shared little five-person dorm or whatever, I don't understand it. Mm. Because he's way taller than you. I guess, what are you trying to show? Like, I'm with the dominant... I, I, tribe I, I of Anglo sphere. No, I, I agree with what he's saying. I think it obviously depends on where you rank in comparison to your non Asian friends that you're posting. Listen, if you post a po photo with your non Asian friends or any friend group and you are clearly by far the lowest ranked person, you're on the outside of the photo, you're the shortest, yeah. nobody's got their arm I around. I don't you. think that's a good idea. And that's never, I would never put that advice to anybody on the dating. I, I normally see it from like guys who kind of grew up in a white neighborhood. So they're kind of like justifying it to themselves. Point number four, by the way, this is his list. Never talk about sex on the first two dates unless a woman indicates that she's really into talking about that. It's just going to make it weird. Mm, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I think so. I mean, I think there's a lot of other cues. I mean, listen, again, if you're just out there trying to have fun and meet people to hook up with, that is a slightly different goal than looking for an actual relationship. So you just have to know how to operate those two goals slightly differently. In my right, opinion. right, right. I could see different apps with different connotations operating differently. I could see Tinder being more explicit. Mm. Hinge, CMB, don't do that. Right, right, right. Don't do it on Coffee Meets Bagel. Don't you dare. That is for the <laughs> nice those, ladies. Those sweet church girls on Coffee Meets Bagel. I'll say this. I mean, um, I think a lot of people, and like I said, hey, guys, don't roast me, particularly women. They want to be shown things, not told things. Um, point number five, he said, dress well. You don't even need to be rich. Just go to Zara or H&M and find something clean. Go to the Nordstrom's rack. See if you can find some sales. If you have no fashion, do not wear colorful items. Because if, you don't, if you're not fashionable, you're not going to know how to handle the color. Mm. You know what I mean? Some bright green or whatever, orange. Have basic hygiene. Take care of your skin, breath, hair, and teeth. This seems like the most baseline of advice. But I'm glad he included it. Yeah. I'll say this. Uh, Zara. Zara over H and M. I mm. think Zara is modeled after. I a agree. Lot of, I agree with like this. YSL and things like that, but a takedown version. Um, point number six. Do oh yeah, you can get the fragrances from Zara too if you really don't want to deal with you know any sort of brainless thinking. Um, point number six. Do not joke about having a small D or average looking face unless you've been talking to a girl for quite some time and she knows she already likes you a lot. You're not doing yourself any favors by pointing out your own weaknesses. Yeah, I guess this seems logical, and I unfortunately, I could see a lot of guys who do that uh, out of their own insecurity, and they're almost like, yeah, you know me, I just, you know, blah, 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 because I think some guys, here's what I would have to say, maybe their, their, their reasoning behind that is like, I want to put out all my weaknesses to filter out this girl, and if she doesn't like it, then I don't want to waste my time and keep talking to her. But I think it over shrinks the pool. That's fair. I don't know. I mean... I, I would just uh, wouldn't I'm not going to lie. I remember 10 years ago, I saw this study from uh, OkCupid. OkCupid is a dating app that's not even popular anymore, where it said a lot of Asian guys on their profile would be like, yeah, you know me, just your average Asian guy, like playing video games. I like tuning my Civic. Don't do that. Don't. Listen. Do it. I'm just an average Asian guy. You know me. Average Asian guy? Whack. I'm into StarCraft. I've got a Camry. Ow! Point number seven. Have a decent body, at least work out, eat healthy. Women want to protect her, get some muscles. Do not be fat or skinny. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, listen, if you're 5'5", five, five, you don't want to be too overweight, bro. It just, just doesn't look good, man. It Dude, doesn't look good. Pudgy I, and short, it's rough, man. I'm not going to lie. Cut the carbs, cut the sugars, get to a low BMI. Honestly, I mean, that's the easiest way to put it. Trust me, there is a good life to live without all the... Sugars and bobas and Dude, all that stuff. Dude, I grew up eating so much fried rice, so many noodles, wide noodles, skinny noodles, broad noodles. You just, how many noodles do you need to eat for the rest of your life? Um, move on. Number eight, if you're rejected, move on. Stop crying about it. Sure, it hurts, but there are so many women out there. Find another one. Staying hurt will only make you resentful and miserable. Mm. I'll say this. I think a lot of guys, they, they don't understand this. If you get hurt, the only thing that's going to, uh, like, let's say you take a big L, right? The only thing that's going to make you feel better is a big W. But the longer you stay on the L, it's going to make the chances of a big W less likely. Ah. So it's like a crazy. So si don't dwell on the L. Just keep it moving. Turn, keep it moving. Turn that M into a W. Ah! And then eat the W like James Wayne. <laughs> um, 
I mean, it happened to me before too. I remember there was this girl that was half Latina, half white, beautiful by all means. I felt oh, broken. half Latina, half white, David, you're <laughs> just putting them on a pedestal. Wow. Felt broken by it, but you know, you got to pick yourself back up and get back on the horse. Uh, number nine, stop focusing on only Asian American or white women. If they don't like you, date other ethnicities. I'd say you got to be open, man, to other ethnicities. And I think this goes for every Asian guy, though. Just be a little bit more but open. Would you, would you agree that a lot of Asian guys do kind of limit it to, to Asian or white? Yes. And you know what I hate? I'll say this. This is my number one thing. I hate guys who go, you know, I'm Asian American, so I grew up speaking English, but you know, I spoke Asian languages with my parents, but I want an Asian girl who went through the same thing, too. I can't date like a girl that's from the motherland. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Anyway, point number 10. Find a sport to do, that, to do that is active, have friends, be engaged in your community, have hobbies. Your partner will likely stay with you when she feels entertained and has a social life. Yeah, I agree. I also think the activity, it, it does depend. I don't know if you want to get as uh, 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 calculating as this, but like there's certain sports that are more for taller people in which that it's harder to compete in. So I really think you want to be in a sport that you can kind of compete decently and whether it's martial arts by weight class or it's like whether you're in the six foot and under league you know what i'm saying you're like, saying you don't want to constantly be showing up to open gyms or whatever and getting picked last 10 yeah listen 10 if you're times. really good at the sport like basketball listen that's generally a lot of tall people even though there are shorter leagues out there if you're really good and that's your passion no for all means keep playing it but i do think there are a little bit more beneficial places to spend your time at some point when you need things for your life. You know what I mean? Um, I think what he's referring to is just generally having a packed Google calendar of things you enjoy to do, but also your partner could join you. I always say this, guys, typically, let's look at the stats. They subscribe to only fans. Girls, they would subscribe to only plans. Mm. Girls love plans. Mm. They love a packed schedule. Um, Last but not least, this guy, by the way, his list, he said, do not listen to online strangers on Reddit who give you dating advice by insulting you. We all just need some positive encouragement. You don't need somebody to ruin your self-esteem to build you up. Right, right. And definitely take advice from people who have been through something similar as you before. Um, David, we have some additional advice ourselves. I'll just go ahead and start off, man. Listen, if you're 5'5", five, five, get some tall shoes. List yourself as five, six, or five, seven, man. No, you're saying get the lifts, right? You got to be clever out there. Listen, play a little dirty. Lots of people are are, are, are are exaggerating online, but just as long as you show up to the date as five, seven, you can list five, seven, in my opinion. That's just what it is, man. Um, Andrew, you listed find a hobby that brings extra fun value to someone's life. For example, be a really good photographer with a really good camera lens. Yeah, yeah I like would that. say photography benefits a woman's life, uh, but you don't want to be her pet photographer. I'm just saying that when you take, you know how to take photos for a woman. Um, also, obviously, if you're fashionable, that's cool. If you're really good with money, that helps. If you're the leader of an organization, honestly, here's the thing. I know there's a lot of different orgs out there, and if you can be the leader of a team, or a recreational team or even an organization of some port, then that shows that you have respect. You know how to run a team. You know how to command respect. You know how to organize people. That, trust me, is better for not only your personality in life, but also on how you're viewed as a person. Right, right. So you're, get you're a leader amongst men. Guys, guys, a man's I, man, a king amongst men. Yeah, I, I, know, I know a guy in LA who is the leader of an Asian organization, very short, about 5'4", not attractive guy. He's not attractive in almost many ways, right? But he's very friendly, very confident, very well organized, and has a good job. So all those things, and I know I always see him out with like a girlfriend. Like he's always dating. Like he has a consistent dating life. And trust me, this guy's not good looking. So shout out to him. But I'm saying like he's got the other things going on. Right. I would say this. Uh, stop. Maybe don't only rely on foodieism. I'll say this. I love foodieism as a way to explore other cultures and connect with other people, but I don't like relying on foodieism and just being somebody's like food boyfriend. Mm. That's just my general opinion. Uh, you mean don't try to impress women with a nice foodie meal? Yeah, because if you guys break up, you're, you've gotten fat from all the foodie meals. Right. So it makes you difficult, more difficult to jump to another ladder if that ladder... Okay, the pyramid that's falls a hilarious apart. reason. I wasn't going to say that reason. I was going to say you don't want to... 
always try to rack your brain about impressing this woman with food, especially for the first few dates, unless you're cooking it and you're a really good chef, then that's a skill and that helps your life. Um, Real quick, just a few comments. This guy said, I think it really affects you that you need this overarching idea of you that you do not give a F what other people think of you. This comes with real confidence, not fake confidence. And then, yeah, you just know your boundaries and you can't let anybody go beyond your limits. And I was thinking about this and I was like, this is kind of a, when people say show confidence, it's very unclear actually what people mean. So I always remember this thing that John M. Chu told me. John M. Chu, the director of Crazy Rich Asians, was telling me how he executes his projects is he sort of acts like he's on one side of the room and his daughter is getting kidnapped on the other side of the room. And he needs to move through a crowded room of people who have no idea what he's trying to do to, to get to his daughter. So you can't just start kicking people because then people will fight you, right? Mm. So you have to be like hyper firm and focused and like cut out all the noise. It's like, you know that nobody cares about you and they're not trying to be in your way, but you got to move through people and swim through people to save your daughter. Right, right. And I, I just feel like that's a way of being firm and focused while knowing you can't just like burn society or to the ground or be reckless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you just can't be a pushover, but... How do you get that confidence? It comes from a lot of different things. It comes from your interactions with people. It also comes with your own physical abilities, your own mental abilities, maybe your financial abilities, your ability to organize people, all these things that, you know, I'm not saying every short guy has to be like an eight, like has to max out everything about their personality just to get a date. I'm just saying though, that if you want to achieve the most, all these things will help. For sure. Anyway, guys, let us know what you guys think in the comment section below of this guy's list. Uh, like we said, not our list, but... Ultimately, I thought it was pretty solid, but I will say this one caveat. Some people need tough love and some people meet, need more like hands, you know, sort of catering to a dove type love. It just, everybody's different. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Make sure you let us know additional tips. Like we said, this was a 5'5 five, five guy, Asian guy who was successful at dating, giving advice to other short Asian guys. Until next time, we the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.